G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields, I'm Rob Hamilton. Pwah, look at this, eh? 2020 Street Triple S review today for you guys. <laughs> Just say you wanted to take it for a test ride, but you haven't been able to because of COVID or whatever, your situation might be pretty hectic and you want to know more about this thing, see how it feels, hopefully I explained it nicely to you. But for now, let's just flick you over to Nick and uh, he'll give you the rundown on what's good and what's all happening. You! Oh, oh my Dude, God. man, my what God. is up with that? The flicks are too hectic. We can't Dude. handle... Look, 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 look what you did to him now. Look, he's all stressed. Oh, Nick's all four. stressed out. Really <laughs> what's going on, guys? It's Nick from Prime Sydney here. We've got this beautiful Street Triple S from a man. Moto feels. See you, mate! See you, bruh. See you, man. Steve. See, See you, Steve. Steve. See you, Steve. See you, yes. Steve. <laughs> I heard you want a lambs bike, right? I also heard you want a fast lambs bike, but I also heard you want a safe lambs bike. So what I got for you, I got you the new 2020 Street Triple S. Oh yeah. Did it get much better? Heck yeah, it did. Well, let me tell you why it got better. <laughs> let me tell you why. Because it looks great now. It doesn't look as tacky as it did before. You got the beautiful streamlined aerodynamics on the rear. The fantastic new MY20 headlights there. Little eyebrow headlights. All my ladies love my eyebrows. My eyebrows, look at those eyebrows. Just these eyebrows. Look at those eyebrows. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty. They are pretty, just like Rob. Also, the new 2020 does come with rain and road riding modes. Feeling kind of sketched out there in the rain, hit rain mode, boom. 60% of your power is automatically cut. ABS and traction control automatically rain sensitive. Full on confidence, either if you've been riding for one day or three years. Um, this thing is the ultimate beast for your L's, P's, uh, both P's, red and green P's. If you live in Australia and if you live in other parts of the world, I guess the UK is A1, A2. That's right. Uh so why is the Street Triple Lamb so fantastic, you may ask, Rob? Let me tell you why. Because this is literally the only naked, or should I say any sport, Lamb's bike on the market. It's actually a full bike, full CC bike, full CC bike, full CC bike. This thing is a full-fledged naked sports bike that's just been de-restricted. Nice. 660 CC motor, Brembo front, uh, sorry, Nissan Listen, front, yeah. Brembo on the rear, uh, semi-adjustable suspension, both riding modes. It's a full-fledged bike that they've just put a restrictor on. And that's what... There's one thing. It comes at a steep price tag. Um, right away, one year rego in uh, New South Wales, 14,790. You're probably thinking, damn, it's a lot of bike. A lot of people are like, wow, 15 Gs for like a Lambs bike, that's ridiculous. Not really. If you really think about it, three years. Consider that, three years on literally the best Lambs bike out there, hands down. Like MT-07s can't compete it, compete with it, why? Because MT-07s lack of suspension and braking, which is two of the most critical things when you're on your Lambs fans. So if you actually want to become a good rider, and after your L's and P's, you want to transition to like a 765, right? An RS, and you actually want to be a competent rider who's going to be skilled in it, you'd be silly not to invest in this. Span it over, like, let's say cost of ownership for every year is 1,500 bucks. Span that over three years, that's five grand. You can walk into the dealership and trade one of these in in three years for 10 grand. Easy. Why? Because they retain value. Because they're quality products. The best part about this bike is the sound. Because it's a full-fledged triple six sixty. It's not a... It's not lambs. Like lambs, you think? Ninja three hundred. Uh, yeah. Insert sound clip. Sorry about that, gents. I know my head flicking can be pretty, pretty hard sometimes. So, um, apologies there. Like, this thing has been ridiculous to ride. It's got some power, man. Through that mid-range, with the restrictor on, it's, it's been blowing my mind. Now, as I said, I don't really know much about this bike. So, let's just go back to first impressions, see how it feels when I just hopped on it. I'll talk it through with you guys, and then I'll meet you right back here. All right, here we go. First impressions. This is it, hey? Let's uh, see how this feels when you uh, when you get on this little thing. Here, ah, oh, leg over, nice. Go with a racy sort of vibe, I guess. So you're leaning forward just a little bit more. The brakes feel really nice, actually. They actually feel like Brembo's at the front, but they're not the Nissan. Clutch is nice and light. Rear foot, yeah, the, the pegs are a little further back than mine. But you can see my knees are nice and hugged in there, into the tank, so it sort of puts your, puts your knees where they should be. But that feels good, I like it. Right side, brakes there, lever feels a little little shorter to what I'm used to, but that's cool. Man, look at me, I'm fogging up here. Can't see anything, damn glasses. Alright, let's fire up Scotty. 
flick around. Oh, there's pretty lights and stuff. Oh, so you got your, you got your gear, you got your speed, you got your time, you got your temperature, you got your fuel there. Oil, engine, ABS, neutral light, fuel. You make some bells and whistles there. Standard. Standard Triumph sound. Yeah, it's got that real crisp, snappy throttle. Man, and this is restricted as well. So this is like, this is full blown. If you're an L plater and you're taking this thing out for a ride, this is, oh wow, it's got a bit of go in it. This wants to take off, eh? Oh, oh, it's there. Let's see how she goes out on the road, eh? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. So the height on this feels fine for me. I'm 5'10". I feel a flat firmly on the ground. I feel like, you know, I can throw this around some, throw some nice bends. But not too much issue. Let's go to Ikea! <laughs> Man! Lem's approved! Holy moly! This is restricted as well? Yeah, these front brakes, wow, they're good. They're actually incredible. baby so it feels ridiculously smooth hey like I'm just these these front brakes are they're doing it for me but if you're not used to brakes being so grabby just be careful when you jump on this thing because they are definitely there for traffic so I'm in the middle lane here I can see through those mirrors the mirrors are nice and they're pretty they're pretty big they're big enough uh, my knees yeah they're hugging the tank nice I feel like you can't help but hug the tank with your knees, which is always a good thing for extra handling. I feel, yeah, you can like, you can zip around easy. It'd be a nice, it's a, it's a zippy, it's a zippy little doodah. <laughs> Dip in here, hook it, oh! And again, this is restricted. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe this is restricted. Smooth man, far out. I can't believe how smooth this is. The rear brake, and it feels a little spongy. It doesn't really feel like it does heaps of stopping. I feel like I gotta actually give it some for it to be able to do anything. Oh, it's bumpy. A little bit bumpy, feeling that through the front there. Oh, a ton of love first. Whoa, and then heavy on the front brakes. Damn, son. Wow. Can you hear that? Are you hearing this? <laughs> Man, that sounds good. Hey, that's actually incredible. Let's see how this performs on the freeway. All right, so here we are on the freeway, sitting at about 100 k's an hour. And you can see what I'm on. I'm about, I'm on about five grand in sixth gear. And like, it still has, it has plenty to go. Hey. There's plenty to go. The shift light set at 6,000 RPM. And you can set that to whatever you want. Engine braking wise, if you had 100k, and you let go of the throttle, you can see it dropping down. So the engine braking, there's not too much when you're cruising in the freeway, so that's, that's good. So it's sort of just cruising. But like, yeah, it's sort of sitting at the sweet spot, you know? You can, you, you can you'll be able to get out of trouble quite easily. It feels a little rough, the suspension, suspension wise, it doesn't feel too smooth. You know, it's got that, it has that sporty feeling to it. It's quite rigid and um, so if you go over some bumps, just be careful on the freeway, especially because you will feel it. You'll feel it smash through your, through your arms and everything like that. So just like make sure you maintain those relaxed, loose, nice, floppy arms and um, you'll be good. You'll be, you'll be frothing. Alright, let's take it to the countryside! Yeah. So now I've ridden this thing for about, I don't know, maybe about 45 minutes. And because you are slightly hunched over, you know, it's like that race sort of feel. Like my back is bad, so like already I can feel my back starting to get a bit tired and stuff like that. But since riding it, holy crap, this thing has some serious power, especially through the mid-range. Like, look at this thing. Like, what? It goes, man. It wants to just 
It wants to just play. It wants to go so hard. The front brakes are tremendous. The rear brakes not so much. ABS is nice though. Like damn, this is still this is still quicker than mine and this is and this is restricted. It's quite bumpy. Like are you serious? They run all good here? Oh shiza. Oh shiza. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh dear, that was lucky. <laughs> Someone came off. Uh, yeah, come down this road, Rob. It's quiet. There's nobody ever here. But yeah, you can see, like, holy moly, this thing for an, for an L's bike. Feel like you'd want to know how to sort of ride first before jumping on this, because this can be a bit much. I feel, in my opinion, like I love it. Like, like yeah. Like these brakes, man. Oh, Shizer. They can, they stop, they really stop. The front brakes are crazy sticky. The rear brakes, not so much, and there's not much engine braking either. So when you downshift, you watch already, you can just sort of like, it's not, it's not really pulling me up so crazy. Like I'm in first. But yeah, like. Got a, you know, a little chip computer vibe going on there and then you also have your riding mode so then you can see it there just switching around so now it's on rain so let's try rain that cuts power Nick said so let's uh let's give that a crack shall we go on the old uphill vibes oh it's definitely a lot smoother already when I just went to take off there it's um yeah it's sort of all buttery all right Bye bye beautiful place, you are nice. Uh, let's just cruise up here. Good night mate, how's it going? Wait, wait this is rain? <laughs> this is rain. I think it's more like, ah, oh, it's still there. Okay, still feels pretty damn grabby. See, I feel like, I just, man, I'm just like, L's, really? I thought there was an L plater on this, like, they could easily just make a mistake and just, whoop, whoops, on the throttle. That was a bit of traction light came on a link. So, I guess in that aspect, yeah, it's safer. You got ABS, man, you got traction. This thing, like, blitzes an XSR 700. Hands down, this thing will absolutely munch it up. Um, ninjas, Ninja 300s, pff, see you later. This is like... This is the quickest, man. This is a quick bike with the restriction on for l -platers. So now I'm counter-steering, counter-steer, counter-steer. There's the payphones. Counter-steer like crazy. And then, and then away you go. So counter-steer is like, it just has to happen on this bike. And if you don't understand counter-steering, I really feel like you could get yourself in some trouble. Like every little, every, every single bit of movement I'm doing, it's all, it's all counter-steering. So if you don't know what counter-steer is, pull. You want to learn how to do it before jumping on this. Comfort, uh, the seat could be comfier. It's not, it's not really, you know, a comfort sort of bike. It is, I am shaking around like crazy. It's pr pretty, it's pretty rigid. I'm feeling it pretty much every bump. Now I wonder if you can change modes while you're riding. Uh, just flicked it to road. It's trying, it's trying. I think I need to let go of the accelerator. Yep. And there you go. And there you have it. You're on, baby. You're on. Ha ha. Oh man, this damn balaclava. It is literally. Ah, it's under my nose. I can't. Oh, I can't stand this. Ah, oh, this thing's the worst. It's the first time using it. Don't like it. Do not recommend. I don't like balaclavas, but I hate being cold. So. Eh. That sound though, this is, it's a hella fun bike, 
it's light I think it's like 180 kilos or something going around them corners like it handles it handles really nicely you just need to know how to handle it though and I feel like inexperienced riders wouldn't be able to it's just me though oh it's just me how's this guy going good day mate all right let's check this out come on zero to 100 here we go ready <laughs> Traction. Zero to 100 Ks. That quick. Lems approved. Isn't that just mind blowing? Let me know what your first bike was in the comments and then just like and compare this to that. Like mine was an SRV 250, a little Yamaha. Meh. And man, if I was sitting on 100 Ks, it'd be like shaking and just screaming and ah, getting blown over everywhere. It weighed like 40 kilos. <laughs> Like serious man, this thing, I like I'm just I don't know. Like I don't know, but like for L players I'm just like I just don't know. I can understand if you've been riding on your L's for say let's just say you've been riding for a couple of years and you're like, alright, look, my bike sucks, I have no ABS, I have no traction, it's quite dangerous to ride. Uh, repairs gonna cost me like three grand. What do I do? Then yeah, absolutely. Like you've had a bit of experience, you know, you know what's up. So when you get on this, you appreciate it a little bit more. You appreciate the traction. You appreciate the uh, the ABS, and, like all the rest that comes with it, ride modes and you know shift light and all this sort of fancy fancy stuff and that sound as well. Like it's a full on triumph. You're not you're not buying like a you know a half ass bike. Like it's a full solid bike. But to get one of these, if you've never ridden in your life, uh, like I, I'd, I'd suggest against it. Honestly, that's just my honest opinion. That's just me. Uh, it is. It's it's a whole lot of bunk. It's a whole machine. And you wanna you wanna be at least a little bit comfortable with counter steering and and you know and the power. Like it, there's, it's got go. Like it has go, you can definitely pop wheelies, even with the restrictor on, like you can pop wheelies, you'd be able to do all that sort of stuff. Um, and so, first bike, first bike's a, <laughs> you don't want it to be able to do that stuff. <laughs> That's just me, I don't know, I don't know about you guys. Well, let me know, keen to hear your thoughts. Uh, so I've been trying to work out where I could do a bit of a B-roll segment for you guys, so you can have a look at the outside of the bike. But I'm not really feeling the bush vibe is, is the right vibe for this thing, so I think I might just, uh, we might just jump back to Triumph and I'll do some B-roll there. How's that sound? There it is guys, that is the Street Triple S. That was a lot to get through, hey? So many features, so many things to talk about, so many things to consider if you're gonna buy this as your first bike. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week's feed.